And there's a bee. <laughs> Carpenter bee. Our friend from Hawaii, Johnny Harper Scouts Table. That's the name of his YouTube channel, Johnny Harper Scouts Table. He did a video where uh, he highlighted his favorite garden tool and he challenged some other uh, YouTubers to, to do the same. Uh, our, you know us, Broussard Homestead, we like to go over the top. So we're gonna feature, or we're gonna look at uh, some of our run of the mill tools uh, that, that we have and some special vintage tools that we've inherited from my grandfather, Amy's grandfather, and some other extended family members. So to get things started off, you know, we've got everything that you can, you need to dig a hole, we've got you covered, you need to rake something out. I mean, we've got all the basic stuff. Um, actually, this right here, a lot of people may or may not know what this is. Some people call it a mother-in-law. Don't know why, sorry, mother-in-law. Um, this is a post driver. And it's for T-posts, you know, you put it over the top. You may have seen us use it in some of our videos. Uh, by far not my favorite. Uh, this is one of my favorites, actually. Johnny, uh, in his video, he highlighted one that's actually pretty similar. This one, uh, I want to say it came from Lowe's years and years ago. We have put a lot of work in using this tool. Uh, I like it because it's stainless steel. Uh, unfortunately, it's made in China, but uh, you know you can you can cut uh, small twigs and branches with this little piece right here. This is all somewhat sharp. It's not not as sharp as a knife, but it's somewhat sharp. This one this edge is serrated. Um, you can plant bulbs. It's got your your depth gauge here on it, and uh, it's got the little. So it's really just it's a multi tool, but it's a lot like a hori hori. I really like this. We use it a lot on our homestead. This uh, North Shore Preparedness, Sean featured this in his uh, video. Uh, this is a garden claw. We inherited this from Amy's grandfather. And uh, it's, it's really handy when you've only got like a little small area to till. Uh, you know, this is a standard post hole digger, but we've got, uh, we inherited this one which is an auger style. I haven't refinished it yet or refurbished it, but uh, it's pretty amazing at doing the job. Plug it in like that and then and turn and it'll, it'll dig that way. And we don't have the parts, but it actually unscrews here and there's longer uh, poles that you can put in between so that you can dig like to the center of the earth from this thing. One of our, uh, well, another one of our vintage tools that we inherited was this awesome, awesome scoble hoe, which I took the time to refinish this morning. I don't intend to use this one unless, you know, things get really bad and I have to, but I don't know if you can see that, but I, I left it rough. I didn't, uh, I didn't sand it down real smooth. So I wanted it to still kind of keep that old patina and just be really nice. But uh, I have no idea how old this thing is. I'd imagine it's at least 60 years old. But I thought that was really nice. These two shovels right here, these two spade shovels, there's a little story behind those. Uh, these both, the shovel heads, a bee. I'm trying to film. <laughs> uh, these two shovel heads came from Amy's grandpa and we've replaced the, the handles on both of them twice just recently we had to do that again because uh, we were trying to take out one of our um, bottle brush trees that, that died in the recent crazy tundra weather and uh, broke both of those so we had to replace those again this one's pretty cool we inherited this one as well this is a real mower R-E-E-L and uh that's one of our SHTF preps, you know, uh, if there's a time that we can't get gasoline and you know, that almost happened recently, uh, we can still at least keep an area 
mowed and trimmed and uh, you know you know it's our tiller one of our uh, high dollar purchases I guess for the homestead uh, we, we sprung for the rear tine tiller because the front tine tillers they just beat you to death uh, this one this one's got a self-propelled thing it walks through the garden on its own um, and but tell you as we as we build more and more raised garden beds we're gonna eventually phase this tool out this is a really cool collection that I got from my grandpa his old post mall um, I don't cross cut saw I, I keep wanting to call it a pas pas two that's a French uh, French Cajun name for it uh, I'm not sure what these were used for, but that came from that collection as well. There's some sickles and this old uh, hay fork. I haven't done anything to restore these yet, but uh, they're going to be similar to that Scoble hoe once restored. One of our most versatile tools here on the homestead is this gorilla cart. Uh, the handle, you can, you can pull it this way by hand or you could switch it around and pull it with the mower. Uh, it's also a dump cart. So it's very handy right now. We've actually got some of our bee equipment in here, keeping it safe until we can get that uh, back on those bee colonies, beehives. Um, hooking this to the mower makes it you know you can there's a 1500 pound capacity with this uh this cart we, we've hauled everything from the bee equipment to compost to even other homesteaders <laughs> We don't have a tractor. So the nearest thing that we have is our ZTR mower. This thing is crazy versatile here on the homestead. You know how I just mentioned that we can hook it to that cart and, and haul things around. We also will throw feed, right, feed bags right here to uh, take them out of the car or the truck and bring them where they need to go. Um, we use we use it to pull the chicken tractors around. We use it to flatten out uh, old gardens or what have you to get that land back nice and flat. We just use this for all sorts of stuff. One last thing that I wanted to show you is something that you wouldn't expect a Louisiana homesteader to have, a snow shovel. We use this thing to shovel manure, um, we actually had to use it just recently because we had snow and ice and uh, it was it was really handy for that but uh, you know really uncommon thing for a homestead in Louisiana to have so anyway guys I hope you really enjoyed this video be sure and check out Johnny Harper's excuse me Johnny Harper scouts table on YouTube I'll put his link down in the description um, Johnny tags some other homesteaders in his video so be sure and check them out too homesteaders and preppers i should have mentioned that so until next time thank you so much johnny for uh starting this challenge we really appreciate it we will we'll talk to you guys down in the comments